dude, this thing is not actually bad on power. Like, I thought that D-rated, obviously D-rated sucks. Jim's gonna watch this and go, damn, I was on camera on a phone. All right, Arthur, let's go talk to somebody about getting you a new Dodge. What's going on, everybody? Somebody here is wanting to purchase a new hotshot power unit. Yes, sir. So we're gonna check out the Dodges and tossing up the idea between getting a, uh, a 3500 like mine, which is just a pickup, and you got more horsepower but you get less brakes, smaller components on the frame, and this is a prime example. Here's a 5500 cabin chassis with the frame exposed, and then a 3500. And honestly, like, the spring pack looks very similar. It might actually be, honestly, it might be the same. Yeah, but the frame is just gobs thicker. This is thin, thin. But then you come over to this thing, it just look at that like quarter inch versus like eighth inch and then that is just pressed sheet metal this is a cast big differences here as far as payload and then you can look at look at the brakes calipers and rotors look at the size of those things oh yeah they're little tiny ones on this guy yeah, these ones are going to yeah. I guess we got to mention the diff. The 5500's got essentially what a big rig would be where you can pull out the whole um, pumpkin spider crawls, that whole assembly right there. And then 3500, it's still got the conventional style, but this one is nothing to joke about. That's got some, that's got some meat behind it. So we're going to try and test drive uh 5500 that'll kind of go to the specs of what he's looking for, which is just crew like cab. a crew cab with like eight, nine foot bed. Yeah. So we'll see if we can find one around here. We'll see if this place, I don't know what the deal is with most every car dealership, but they're just out to screw you. So hopefully this place doesn't do that to old Arthur here. If not, we'll have to call your cousins and your brother yeah, and your sister. <laughs> yeah. I need the raise right there. We walked in there, the fleet truck center over there where you get the 55s and the high duty ones, Douglas. That guy is a man because we talked to one old boy and he threw a fit at Arthur. He's not wearing a mask. It's humid and smoky and hundred and some odd degrees out here. But this dude is like, screw it. The fleet center is closed today. I'll go get the keys for you anyway. You want to, for your tow haul thing, all your buttons are here for up and down on your shifting. And then. So if I'm like, in, okay, that's the engagement. Yeah. If I want to turn on, just hold. Yeah, hold the up one. Okay. Yeah. No, just drive her off. Dude, it feels like a freaking big old truck. I'm just kidding. Some super truck is like, yeah, that's just a little truck. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. Well, guess what? <laughs> Arthur's just getting a 3500. No, that's the first thing I moved like three feet. I'm like, oh, she's stiff, boys. She's stiff. If she's stiff, that's a problem. There's a nice truck right there. I've seen that before. Okay. We'll pull over and show you guys which truck we got at some point if I haven't already clipped it in. Go left and we'll go out that way. And then we'll circle around. Oh man, no uh, way. Dude, no way. I like the sound. It sounds like a truck. Like, no offense, I'm a Ford guy, but these Cummins, they just sound like a work truck. You know, that diesel sound. Go down the end and then we'll come back. This one will just give her a little warm up lap. I actually got more than a quarter tank. Oh, dude, we'll put some miles Let's go home, we'll hook up the trailer, test it out, come back, then we'll know. This thing don't even, we'll have to Gen Y it like whistling diesel to the bumper. <laughs> you gotta get four-wheel drive. That yeah, is. Nope. Well, ha! It's got a freaking differential with no axles in it. This big old two-wheel drive pile of crap. Anyway, so here's the truck we're gonna test drive just to get the feel of something with a flatbed on it and see how it feels with a little bit of weight. Careful now. 
that good for chains and stuff. Yeah. But it doesn't have a gooseneck hitch or none of that stuff. It's too long of a wheelbase for what he's looking for. He's looking for 60 inch, um, what do you call it? 60 inch from cab to axle. This is an 84, but I just want to give you guys an outside look. It's a big truck. It's got the big fuel tank. What are we at, the backside of a Home Depot or something here? What the hell is this? There's a dude sleeping right there. Dude, your backup needs to It's going to three right? 59. Yeah, um, yeah, you can go that way and then we'll just circle to the next exit. It doesn't say the gear ratio. That's stupid. Anti spin dip axle. It does not say. Why would it not say? We'll find out once we get rolling. I think I got an idea. I'm going to guess it's 488s. That is really dumb. It doesn't say. That's not bad. She's got a little pull to it. Dude, it rides like. Yeah, that's what I should have like. See that rear? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, are you ready to feel a nasty bump? It's nice. It feels really stable. <laughs> it's not the big bump. There it is. It's not bad. The seat really helps out a lot. This is a lot nicer seat than my 5500 has in it. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Well, this is a little longer wheelbase than that might if you're a shorter, yeah. shorter wheelbase, the front hits, and before that thing holds settled, mm -hmm. the rear hits, right? So it's not like... Yeah, only be 14 inches difference. That's a lot to some guys. Uh, <laughs> well, what are we tacking at? Dude, that's not bad. Uh, 2200 pounds? Dude, I think it's got 444 on it. So that's... I wish this stupid thing would say. Why would they not have the gear ratio on here? Maybe that has something to do with it? Might. Dude, it's... She it kind of rips a little bit. Like, the torque converter is pretty nice. It's got... Are you in tow? Oh man, how do we get through I'm this? not in tow, huh? I'm just saying it's break. I like how it takes off. It's taking off. Like, how... Like, throttle responsive it is. Yeah. Nice. It's gonna feel a little uh, all over the road. Yeah. It feels better in the driver's seat as far as the bounce. Yeah. Over there, it felt like I was on a roller coaster. Just like a crappy one. We'll take the green tool, give some tool. Come on, down, ship. I don't even know what this street's called. Back. Dude, if you want to experience it, uh, I think, I'm not sure. just keep on straight, unless you want to turn around. No, it's all right. We'll drive it for a minute. The guy said, bring it back today. Okay. We got another four or five hours. We got, yeah. We got a bunch of fuel. They got like 220. We put seven miles on it. Parking brake's on. Situation report. On the freeway, it's a pretty nice ride. The seats definitely help the ride out quite a bit, given it is an empty truck, but if you towed um, gooseneck trailers when they're empty they definitely kind of bounce around and beat you up especially if you got a long dovetail like Arthur and I both have and concluding test driving this on the freeway wasn't quite as much information as we needed we drove it on that back street just now and it's it needs a lot of weight to really make sure this thing rides smooth 
and if you're gonna be half the time loaded and then there's a nice there might be one right there for you dude right there yeah we'll pull in the lot and we'll oh, go see that 3500 that was, uh, was it yeah, well anyway so he drove a 3500 was it yesterday the day before yesterday and well we know how well a 3500 rides and a 5500 but just seeing these are they got some stout suspension in which isn't bad you get the big brakes which isn't like that's an awesome feature but i think my opinion is i think if you're gonna have a whole bunch of weight on the bed uh, all the time that's yeah. when you get a truck like this like a contractor kind of a thing or if you're gonna be at a heavy trailer all the time we'll just park it right here and give it back to him now pull it up there out of the way a little bit but if you don't have a lot of weight all the time on your bed, I think this yeah. is just this is gonna be uh, get an air ride system maybe if you had to go 5500. But your payload doesn't change for towing. It's it's fancy in there. Arthur's done and got himself in trouble. Looking for max tow with a 3500. You got to do that. So it's gonna have four tens, four wheel. It's four wheel drive, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, all right. Uh, 3500 dually. This is a limited. Doesn't have the color match up there, but he does not want the bench seat. This one's got a console. It's got factory air ride, and then, but that's a problem. You got no hitch back there yet. Look at the little mirror's power. 360 camera, the works, the big screen. Every oh man, everything that you could want on a truck except for the gooseneck package is on this truck. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Let's try this out. Oh, that's a fisheye. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Sick. That's yeah. so you can see yeah. blind spot. So you can see that truck. Yeah. I like that one. Why don't they make that freaking HD? I think it is. It might have a, a piece uh, of paper or yeah. something. Black refiner. All right, let's go see what the 410 horsepower feels like compared to that other Joker. Even though I drove several of these already yeah, now. I love that bird that I mean. Yeah. Oh, fancy truck stuff. Like I didn't even let, or he let you back it out. He didn't even ask. Seems like high. 10x, 10 times the driver of a normal person. <laughs> okay, so the 360 horsepower, it's not bad. Feels pretty good. But then when you get the high output one, you realize how much are you lacking. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how this thing pulls. It'd be interesting how this thing pulls the trailer. I already did it with Tavis yeah. last week. <laughs> it pulls it good. Alright, this thing rides smoother. I gotta reiterate the the big point here is Arthur wanted a 2024 50, which many of us did because you get good horsepower, you got 10 speed automatic transmission. People that are diehard stick shift guys, the automatics nowadays, no matter what brand, they all kick ass. Uh, six speed or 10 speed, Dyson does great, very tough. But he wanted the 450 with the pickup bed variation, so he still get the most power, right? Yeah. And so did I. I was dead set on ordering one, like it was gonna happen, but uh, the exhaust brake wasn't there, I can say it a million times. And I know the exhaust brakes here on these because they have test drove both. Yeah, this thing really drives so much better than that 55. Imagine putting the trailer on there and getting a little bit of weight. This thing rides nice. The steering input is insane. That 55 is a little bit all over the place compared to this one. Yeah. This one just feels planted. I mean, and we're on a construction site right now, so... I feel like they do have, like the tire pressure is maxed out on these. They got it wherever the tire things are set it. Yeah. Just start hitting the button up. You go to. Yeah, they have, that's over. Yeah, so they're over PSI. I'll put like 75 in the front and 70 in the back. I should ride it's good Dude. with this much PSI. Mm -hmm. Imagine no lower PSI with the trailer. Yeah. So right now the sticker on this truck is twenty-five thousand more. <laughs> dude, she rips. That was four. This is a nice truck, dude. You can't get much better than this, except for we got a 
put that damn gooseneck ball on it. If it had the gooseneck ball on it, it'd have everything. It's got the big tank. Got the... I was going 72 right there. Yeah. It feels like it's not 55. I think your questions are starting to get answered. <laughs> I think they are now. <laughs> Shit. Oh, this is downtown Beirut. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Immediately sounds like you got a flat tire. <laughs> no. Nice. This is not bad. No, this isn't. With the trailer, it'd be smooth. Yeah. Because we, if you guys didn't know, we also we went to Texas and got Arthur's new trailer with my 3500 and drove it 2,000 plus miles back. And most of the time, didn't really know, is there, we can find a better spot than this. You don't want to turn a $100,000 truck around in the downtown <laughs> Beirut highway. <laughs> Dude, no, I'm good. My back feels better now. <laughs> Driving on the crappier road with the 3500 than the 5500 on, oh man go up on that on the whatever you call it this is like old swamp rice field land oh, right here yeah that bridge has got like a freaking hump hump and so if you ha catch it with your trailer just wrong it starts to what is this jackass doing Shut up, bro. anyway it starts to make your trailer do this little huck and buck thing and it'll pretty much want to throw you over the gate rail Dude, I, shouldn't have just to limit it now. <laughs> I get used to this real fast Dude. Real stitching and everything. Yeah. All these sweet things are sweet. Weigh your options the way it stands with the trucks that are on the lot. If you had to buy one today, I'm not saying buy one today, but as it sits, the limited with the airbags, the big fuel tank, the works, minus the gooseneck hitch for 85 sticker price. Or the Laramie, which is high output, IS and 410, everything, but it's got the smaller tank, no airbags, but it has a gooseneck hitch in it. I that one. Yeah. Because you can put an auxiliary thing. Yeah. Direct auxiliary tank. And also. Uh, and it's 13 grand cheaper sticker price. Yeah. And the Laramie. Uh, you know what? The Laramie didn't have the console. Yeah. Damn. I really want the console. I, I spent all day in here. Yeah. Yeah. I've been on my phone. I've been on my papers in here. I've been on everything. Yeah. I spent all day in here. I really need the console. This drug is sweet. If you had to buy one today, would you buy one right now? Well, if you had the right options. <laughs> they might. There was a couple more dually cars. There was a Tradesman, a Laramie, and a Mega Cab Laramie. Oh, they switched the nice. He said that at the other dealership, they said 85 for a Laramie. Yeah. And story on Austin's truck when he owned Dave Smith. They had a price um, on the phone, and they tried to, the paperwork at first that he signed showed that, but then he could not find that number anymore ever again. So that's why they're not going to Dave Smith ever again. And then Auburn, they tried to screw me a little bit after I bought mine. So hopefully Humboldt has a, Humboldt? Hoblet. Hoblet has a better deal. Humble, humble. A humble Hoblet. Dude, this is... Cruise control 71 miles an hour. Peaceful life right here. Back. Old Arthur moving up in the world. <laughs> Come. Some things are going up, some things are going down. Yeah. It's a little bit smoky out there, like somebody released a whole pack of 12 valves. <laughs> nice, this dude. Way too oh, yeah. Okay, so this thing doesn't have the console, and doesn't have the big tank, and doesn't have the damn airbags but the price tag is nice is a very fun price tag the devil's number put these out if you got a dually ugh, even if like mine i keep them up anyway oh, is a dually? yeah because those stupid fenders i wonder if this is a couple of those going around just gives us keys and tells us go in the parking lot and drive the damn truck this road is crap, but all right. Well, I just want to give you an update. Right. Tell him on the camera what are you gonna do? Ah, right, boys, you gotta pull the trigger, man. What's pulling the trigger mean? Pulling the trigger means going broke. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, oh, I can't afford one of those trucks. Work more. Yeah. All I gotta say is work, work more. Work, work, work. There's no point in living your life and working day to day 
and not getting something nice every once in a while especially since it's gonna be a work truck Laramie whatever that's fancy but he'll be comfortable yeah that's the thing man I spend so much time with this thing and this is not my this is gonna be my third truck I didn't go out and buy a Laramie right away you know I had a single rear then I got that rodeo yeah. buck 450 yeah and then this is the only time you know you got to work for it so. been rocking that 450 for many many miles Dude, it's a, I drove the truck. It is not smooth one bit. Oh, come here, glasses. Oh, uh, you know what? You're gonna, you have to take them up on that up fit thing so you get some side kickers. Some steps? Yeah. That was good enough. Arthur said he wasn't disappointed when he walked up to it. No, I, that was my big concern. I was like, if I buy a Dodge, I come out in the morning to walk toward my truck and I'm gonna see this, I thought I'm gonna be disappointed. When I, when I, even with my Ford, when I go to, come to a job site to unload, I look back like five times on the Ford. This one, I'm walking backwards, so. Well, right, just to double check the, yep, dip, dip six in the right spot. There's a little bit of coming somewhere stacked in there. Why did it say hybrid? That's good. Shit, it's an eco boost. Why's there oil everywhere? Is there? It's hot. This is the cleanest this thing's gonna be. Yeah. Two months of job size, you're not gonna see that anymore. You'd have to give her a little pressure wash off, but. Yeah. Dude, this, the retract the crap I said about Dave Smith ever being nice. This place definitely a better deal for a Laramie upfitted. Got the ball. Um, I guess ask them about buying a ball. See if they got a BMW. If, if they don't have one, just borrow my Kurt so you can use it on Monday. Oh, yeah. And then um, you come up to the house. Yeah, I don't care. I I only I have two of them, so I have the BMW and my old current one. You can use that. They're both 30k, so you'd be fine. And then yeah. Well, congratulations, Arthur. I'm gonna take off. Camera's about to die. Yeah, thanks for everything, man. Yeah. That's good. Ah, damn. I was gonna say. Well, if you bring it up to the house, we'll park it next to mine. Congrats. Sweet. All right, we'll see you. Well, I left Arthur there to do the paperwork, but I lost my wingman, so I don't have any access to the carpool lane over there. I go fast lane. But it's neat to see, I'm not trying to be biased about any brands, but when it comes to a truck that's gonna tow day in and day out, can't really go wrong with the 3500 Dodge, or Ram, or Fiat, or whatever you wanna call it. One of these trucks, it's such a versatile truck. It's good for just a family vehicle, the crew cab Laramie outfitted. It's it's a nice machine and it can pull like a son of a bitch. I'll say that it is they're nice the Ford's nice too and Arthur is a big time Ford guy 100% he wanted 150% he wanted to get a Ford but he trusted my judgment when I said about the exhaust brake because he does not have an exhaust brake on his 450 it's 2012 and that was a big requirement uh, him and I have spent hours and hours talking about what kind of a truck he should get. Either get a uh, little Freightliner or Peterbilt. And for right now, his business is good and is running smooth with the hotshot setup, with the pickup. And a 3500, that place actually had a very, very damn good price for modern day pricing on trucks. Um, Price tag was uh, 73 out the door, which is a lot of damn money, but you get a pretty damn good setup for that. And he's gonna get the extended warranty and make sure everything he's covered for the miles he's gonna be putting on that truck. And I'm happy for the guy. It wasn't easy for him to make the switch, but as soon as he drove, cause he did drive a 2020 450 and he drove the 3500, which I don't know, they're pretty much straight across, kind of comparable, except for the bigger steering and bigger brakes and bigger tires and wheels, uh, you're getting like the same tow rating. But I think he's gonna do good with that. So a couple hours from now, he'll be done with the paperwork. Uh, the, that place is happening on a Saturday. You can go home and surprise his wife with it. But Arthur's got a, a, a YouTube channel also. It's called Full Life Adventures. Check him out. He just, uh, he got a new shop and everything. So it's a lot of big stuff in his life. A lot of stuff moving. So congrats to him. Good job, Arthur. Hope the truck suits you well. And, doesn't break down on you. We'll see you guys on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out Arthur's channel for more content on that new dually.
It is sweet. I'm actually kind of jealous, even though I have the same one just a couple years older. It doesn't feel as fast, though. We'll see you guys. Later.